We as editors tend to be pretty messy people. When we're in the middle of a project, we just end up leaving assets laying around in the downloads folder. Or even if we try to put them into folders, we try to organize them and then they go missing and we delete them and then we end up with things like that. And uh, we've all been there. So today I'm gonna to show you a plugin that you never knew you needed. And it's not an all-in-one fix, but it will make your life a lot easier. I mean, you're still gonna be a disorganized mess. There's nothing I can do about that. Blame your parents. But this will, at the very least, help you out. Okay, so the plugin we're looking at today is Watchtower, and it's made by Knights of the Editing Table. They sent this out to me for free, but this is by no means a paid review. If it's terrible, I will tell you, but uh, spoiler, it's not. <laughs> In short, the main reason you'd want to pick up this plugin is because it automatically syncs all of your folders with Premiere Pro, so there's no more importing. It labels everything for you, and it comes with a bunch of other awesome features that we will talk about as the video goes on, and I'm going to try and condense this as much as possible so you don't have to listen to me ramble. If if you've seen my video on Excalibur, you'll know how much I love these guys and how passionate they are about every single plugin that they create. If you haven't seen that video, go and check it out after this one because Excalibur is its mind-blowingly good. I even made a preset pack specifically for people who had brought Excalibur, which is available on my website for free and you guys have been downloading that like crazy, so thank you, I'm glad it helped. <laughs> but that is not what today's video is about. Today's video is about this little box right here. If this doesn't show up for you, by the way, you can just go to Window, Extensions, and then Watchtower. And it'll be right here, ready and waiting for you. So, what we're gonna do with this little box is tap the Folder button. That will turn your little box into an even bigger box. Now, just in case you can't be bothered to read, it says drag and drop to add Watch Folder. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna open up my File Explorer. And this is a video that I recently made for my gaming channel. And you can see that pretty much everything is organized into specific folders as best as I could. We've got a bunch of sound effects, which are buried inside even more folders. We've got some music ready to go. We've got all of my main footage organized neatly. And I promise this isn't like a regular thing. This is <laughs> this is me on a good day, okay? There's even an image sequence, which we're going to dive into in a little bit. There's B-roll and a bunch of other cool stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to select everything and we're just going to click and drag. And now you'll see that these are pretty much all ready to be imported, but there are a couple of options that we have before doing so. First and foremost, you're going to want to go through and just make sure that you do actually want all of this stuff synced with Premiere. Things like this, the Adobe Premiere Pro Auto Save and Audio Preview, we don't need all that, right? So let's go ahead and just get rid of them. One minute later. Okay, so I've been through here and I've checked that pretty much all of the files are things that I want inside of Premiere. Another thing I've done is actually go over here to the label section and you can color code every single folder. That way, when you're adding things to the timeline, you can keep track of it. Being able to look and think, okay, well, this is chapter one, this is chapter two, this is when we're at the park, this is when we're at the beach. It really helps. And there we go, just like that, Watchtower has imported everything I needed it to. All the files are in here ready to go. Now, one other thing I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna go ahead and open this little folder window again, and I'm gonna add my downloads folder right here. And yes, that's a download folder within a download folder because I couldn't be bothered to organize my actual download folder, but it, it works the same way, trust me. The reason I do this is because when I'm downloading assets, like I'm looking around on YouTube audio library, I'm looking for overlays, B-roll, whatever, I can do that, download it, and then when it downloads, it automatically syncs everything within Premiere. So there's no shuffling files around, it's literally just look for what I need, get it on my computer, and it's already in there waiting for me. To demonstrate this, what I'm actually gonna do is we have our little cat right here, straight from Google Images. We're gonna go ahead, right click, save as. It's gonna save to that folder, which I've got Watchtower looking at. It's gonna sync it, save it, and straight away, you can see that Premiere adds it, and it's in the downloads. That is such an incredible time saver. And we can do this as many times as we want, saving as many cat pictures as we could possibly need. And every single time we do it, it's gonna sync up inside of Premiere Pro and we'll have a bunch of cat pictures ready and waiting for us, which is great. Okay, so let's take a minute to talk about these little settings right here, what they do and how useful they actually are. Ariel changes the path to relative. So if you have something like music, it turns it into this weird looking thing right here. This is particularly great if you use an app called Post Haste, which generates entire templates, folder structures and things like that. Go ahead and create the project, put it on our desktop, for instance. And just like that, we have a great folder structure. So what you would do, you would then import this and because everything's relative you can have those files in other directories other places in your PC and it would just make your life a lot easier. SEQ stands for an image sequence. Now this is something that I find really cool so let me give you an example of this. I have here an image sequence and all this is it's a GIF 
that I've broken down into individual frames, right? For you, if you're not working with cats wielding lightsabers, this could be something like a hyperlapse, a sequence of pictures that you want to turn into a montage of some kind, time lapse. There's a bunch of really incredible uses for this. What we're going to do is we're going to select the folder that contains the image sequence. We're going to drag it over to Watchtower. There it is right at the top and it automatically recognizes it as a sequence because the last three characters of every single picture in this folder are three numbers, 001, 002, 003. Watchtower recognizes this and says, hey, you know what? I see what you're trying to do. Let me help you. When you click OK, what you'll find is that you don't actually have a bunch of different pictures like you normally would if you were to import just a bunch of JPEGs or whatever. Instead, Watchtower automatically converts it into a video. Let me move this little guy out of the way. And just like that, we have cats fighting each other, wielding lightsabers. And pro tip, if you want to change the speed of it, maybe you're making a GIF or something like that or a hyperlapse, you can just use the rate stretch tool now and you can even make it longer or faster. And then finally, we have FLT, and this flattens folder structures. So for this example, we're going to go ahead and check out my sound effects. Now I've got folders upon folders all mashed up together, right? If we drag this over to Watchtower, what is going to happen is we're going to get all of these different folders bunched up together. And that's kind of annoying. So instead of that, we can just click the flatten button, click OK. Now, if we find sound effects in our project, what's happened is that it's gotten rid of all the folders and just kept all the files. They're still all neatly organized here, but it just kind of ignores the folders and puts everything into one place for you. I found this especially useful if you have like some kind of file management system where it's like 2023 and then inside of that folder is May, June, July, August, September. And all you want is the files from each of those months, right? You can use the flatten tool to literally just compact everything and just let it take all of your videos and clips and then you just have one little folder called 2013 with everything that you need in one place. And there we have it. From now on, all of your downloads are automatically imported into Premiere Pro. Any changes you make to the files, you add some new stuff in, it's going to be recognized instantly by Watchtower inside of Premiere. All of your clips and your footage are neatly organized, so even if you drag them onto the timeline, they all have nice little color codes ready to go. If you're having issues with the auto sync, you can actually tap this and it will go ahead and kind of force Watchtower to do its job. I've never really had to use this, but it's there if you need it. And then finally, you have this little eye icon right here and that unwatches things. So this will at any point in time, stop watching all of your folders. You can do whatever you need to behind the scenes and then just re-enable it whenever you're ready. Oh, and remember how I said you can actually stop Watchtower from tracking specific folders? Let me show you how to do that. Right here, you can click on the little burger menu, go into settings and then go to ignored folders. As you can see right here, I've got the Adobe Premiere Pro Auto Save set to be ignored so it doesn't automatically import them. And if you tap this button right here, you can actually type the name of any folder. And if it recognizes that file name, it'll just completely ignore it. So if you hate music, which first of all, you're, you're strange. I don't know how you could do that. But just like that, it will ignore any folder named music. You can also allow and block certain file type extensions like MOV, MP3, things like that. And then there are a couple of other little options right here, but that's pretty much it. So there you have it, the plugin that you never knew you needed. Again, this one doesn't come with a bunch of really cool little features like Excalibur does. Make sure you check out that video because I think you're going to love it if you have enjoyed this. But it's a nifty little tool and it does make your life a lot easier, especially if you're a little bit like me, incredibly disorganized. But it is a very nifty little tool and it will make your life easier. One little feature I would love to see added, and I don't even know if it's possible considering that this is inside of Premiere. I think it would be so cool to have Watchtower come with some kind of file organizational system. So let's say I download a piece of music, I would like Watchtower to be able to recognize that it's an MP3 or something like that and automatically put it into a music folder. Other than that, I can't fault this one. I've been trying to like be really nitpicky and I had one nitpick that I was going to put into the video, which was originally, if you tried auto syncing a folder that had a period before the name of the folder, it just would not automatically sync whatsoever. So I ended up shooting an email to Knights of the Editing Table, and I I'm not even kidding when I say that they patched the little bug, the little nitpick that I was going to include within two three hours maybe. Not only is that a testament to how much they care about their audience, but it's just one more reason to love these guys. All right, so Knights of the Editing Table, thank you for hooking me up with yet another amazing plugin. It's been really fun playing with it and figuring out how it all works. I encourage all of you to, at the very least, head over to their website, check it out, learn more about it, see if it's for you, because if you're into productivity and file management and things like that, just like I am, I think you are really going to appreciate this one. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to help you out. And while you're down there, tap the subscribe button 
button to make sure that YouTube tells you when I upload more videos just like this. I love your faces. You're amazing and beautiful. And I will catch you in the next one.